This is the real stuff. Captured German film showing their automatic weapons in action. These are the weapons we're up against in the European and Mediterranean theaters of operation. But we've captured not only the film, but the actual weapons and ammunition. Just what are they like? How fast and how accurately do they fire compared to our weapons? And most important to you, how do they sound? Well, here's their 34. Now they're 42. Here's their Schmeisser. The next time you hear that may be your first time in combat. A new replacement in a battle-wise line outfit. You're in this man's shoes. You're ready, but you've never faced enemy fire. Listen to that. Fast. That thing sprays a lot of lead. And you're scared because the German gun fires faster than anything you've run into before. So much faster than the slow, steady bark of American machine guns you heard all through training. And you can't see them either. In combat, they aren't sitting out in the open. So keep an eye on your squad leader. He's a veteran. He's tangled with these weapons before, and he's going after this one, sending men around the flank. Now he's establishing his base of fire. Nobody seems especially afraid of that gun. Nobody but the replacement who can't get over the fast burp of that German gun. Well, so it does have a high rate of fire. Does that mean it's a better fighting weapon than ours? Here's where we get the answer. These gunners are all expert and have been hand-picked to give us a fair test. The submachine guns will fire first. 20 rounds each at 75 yards. At 75 yards. Load. The German 9mm machine pistol called the Schmeiser against our Thompson caliber 45. Their rate of fire is practically the same, but our weapon is more accurate. And our new submachine pistol caliber 45 M3. The man firing. Let's see the payoff. Here's the German Schmeiser. Pretty good. Out of the 20 rounds fired, it snagged 11 hits. Now let's total up our own Tommy gun. Things are looking up. 15 hits, only five misses. And what about our new M3? Better yet. The gun didn't climb as much on the longer bursts. 17 hits out of 20 rounds. Accuracy. Your slugs go where you aim them. The German gunner pays for his impressive rate of fire. But you get maximum accuracy with a rate of fire that isn't just noise. Here is the backbone of the infantry's firepower. Machine guns. 
When your target is out there 300 yards away, accuracy really counts. In this test, each weapon will fire 30 rounds. First, the American Light 30 on the bipod. Next, the American Heavy 30 on the tripod. German 34 on the bipod. And last, the German 42 on the tripod. Geez. Firing. There's a lot of lead down there. Let's go see how much of it hit the target. First, the German 34. 13 hits. For the American Light 30, 22 hits. The German gun is good, but ours is better. And even with the heavy machine guns on tripod mounts, the results are the same. 16 hits for the German 42. And for our heavy 30, 24 hits. Only six misses. Accuracy. Again, yours always go where you aim them. And another thing about that high rate of fire. It eats up ammunition. Almost three times as fast as our own machine guns. And whole lugs all that ammunition. Here's the answer. Here's an American heavy machine gun platoon. 35 men. Four machine guns. Here they are in simple diagram form. 35 men, four machine guns. The German heavy machine gun platoon has the identical setup. 35 men and four guns. But an additional eight men are required to lug all that ammunition. For these eight men, we can substitute another machine gun squad with another gun which will deliver its bullets where we want them to go. That's the choice we've made. More guns, which shoot slower, but more accurately. When you know the drawbacks of these enemy weapons and realize that their bark is worse than their bite, you aren't afraid of some unknown thing. Now the Nazis have their hands full, and our men can move in on their flank. The German gun shoots fast. gun used to shoot fast. Now the squad can move again. That's the way an enemy machine gun position should look. Their automatic weapons may fire fast, but if you know your stuff, you can stop them cold. Remember, their bark is worse than their bite. The standard German army rifles and carbines are all of the same basic Mauser design. For demonstration purposes, we are using the latest weapon of this type to be issued. The short rifle, model 98K, 7.92 millimeter caliber. This is the standard German rifle bayonet. It is removed by pressing on the bayonet lock catch. In almost all cases, you'll find this V-notch, tangent leaf type rear sight, graduated from 100 to 2,000 meters. The blade foresight is another standard feature. To set the safety device, Beast must first be cocked. The safety lock is then turned to the right, and the firing pin locked back. With the safety in the vertical position, the weapon may be disassembled by raising the knob 
and drawing the bolt backward. Pull out the retaining bolt lever on the left of the receiver and remove the bolt. With the firing pin cocked and the safety in a vertical position, unscrew the cocking head. Remove it and the firing pin assembly from the bolt. Insert the firing pin in this hole in the stop. Press down on the cocking piece until the firing pin head can be turned one half turn. Then remove it. Next, separate the cocking piece and the main spring from the firing pin. Press in on the cocking piece lock. Turn it a quarter turn to the left and remove. Here's the bolt disassembled. Loading and firing the Model 98K is the same as our own Springfield, with the exception of the sight adjustment. MP40 German Schmeisser submachine gun. Its caliber is 9 mm Used by German paratroopers, infantry, and armored forces, it is an air-cooled, blowback-operated shoulder or hip weapon. It is fed from a 32-round box magazine. Press in on the stock lock release button to unfold the stock, which has a curved rest designed to fit comfortably in the shoulder position. The rear sight on this weapon is the folding leaf type. The fixed leaf is for 110 yards. The folding leaf for 220 yards. The front sight is the blade type with guard. The safety device is a notch cut in the receiver back of the rear sight. To apply the safety, pull back on the cocking handle until it is engaged in the safety notch. To disassemble, separate the receiver from the frame group. After unlocking the receiver lock, pull the trigger and turn the barrel and receiver one quarter turn to the right. Remove the bolt and firing pin assembly. Then take out the magazine. In firing this weapon, don't grasp the magazine. It will cause a malfunction. Before reloading, the bolt must be in the forward position. German Army machine gun MG-34, caliber 7.92 millimeter. It's a dual purpose weapon which may be used as a light or heavy machine gun depending upon the mount employed. The Germans also mount it on tanks and use it for anti-aircraft fire. Here it is being fired from a bipod. It's light machine gun mount. When used on this mount, it is fed from a regular 250-round box-type belt container or a basket-type 50-round belt container. To disassemble, remove the lower part of the sling. Then press in on both legs of the bipod and pull outward from the barrel jacket. Complete the removal of the sling, squeeze the bipod legs together again and press in on the bipod lock. Turn clockwise and separate the bipod from the barrel jacket. Press the butt catch. Turn the butt a quarter turn and remove it. Take out the driving spring.
To remove the bolt, pull the cocking handle to the rear. Just below the rear sight is the barrel jacket catch. Press in on it. Turn the barrel jacket one half turn to the left and remove the barrel. This completes a field strip disassembly. When the weapon is to be used as a heavy machine gun, it is mounted on this tripod. Before mounting, the sling must be removed. Set the gun on the mount, rear end first, so that the lugs are engaged in the sockets. Clamp the front end down, using the metal clamp set directly in front of the rear sight. When used as a heavy machine gun, a high concentration of fire is required and the dial sights are attached. Only the box type magazine may be used in firing the weapon from the tripod mount. After 250 rounds at continuous fire, the barrel must be changed. This is quickly accomplished by raising up on the barrel change lever located on the left side of the mount. Here the weapon is being installed on the anti-aircraft mount. Spiderweb AA sights are mounted directly behind the front sight. A rear sight attachment is used in conjunction with the front spiderweb sights. Note the feed mechanism used for anti-aircraft fire. This is the saddle type magazine and holds 75 rounds of ammunition. The special AA mount may be extended for additional height by pressing in on the extension lock pin. It is generally sandbagged when the gun is in place. On this mount, a full 360 degree traverse is possible. The latest German machine gun, and the one which is gradually replacing the MG34, is the dual purpose caliber 7.92 millimeter MG42. New production methods which employ pressings riveting and spot welding give it a less finished appearance than the MG34 without affecting its efficiency. With the exception of the removal of the barrel, the procedure for firing and stripping this gun is very much the same as for the MG34. The same type of feed mechanisms are used, and loading is accomplished in the same way. The rear sight adjustment in this case is of the tangent leaf type, sliding on a ramp which is graduated from 200 to 2,000 meters. The gun fires full automatic only. There is no provision for single shot fire. This assembly is the same as the MG34. The lower part of the sling is removed. The bipod is separated from the barrel jacket. To change the barrel, a barrel change lever hinged on the right side of the barrel jacket is provided. The lever swings out, bringing the barrel with it. Slide the barrel to the rear and remove.
Then the butt comes off, followed by the driving spring. The cocking handle is pulled to the rear, and the bolt comes out. This completes the disassembly. Here they are again, German infantry weapons. The rifle model 98K, submachine gun MP40, the dual purpose MG34 on its bipod light machine gun mount, as a heavy machine gun on its tripod, and mounted for AA fire. Finally, here's the new MG42.